Hello, and welcome to the video on how to use your audio moth. In this video, we'll cover the companion app and how to connect your device to the companion app. To start off, we're going to go to the Google Play Store, then search for the companion app by Rainforest Connection. It will be the first app to show up, and you can select it and press download. I've already downloaded it, so mine says open. Now that we have the app open, I'm going to give a quick overview. You have the profile tab, which lists all the information about your profile, and then you've got the map tab. When you're in the map tab, you can view all of the audio moth devices that you have deployed. I haven't deployed any yet, so you can't see them. Now let's look at how to connect our audio moth device to the app. We'll press the green plus button and select audio moth, then select deployment site. What this actually does is select on the map where you're going to be deploying your audio moth device. First, let's choose a site, and then we'll just add the test site. And then if you select the map, then you can search for your location. I'm just going to use Denver as an example. If it's not the exact location, you can drag the map around and move to where you would like it to be. I'm going to select this location. And then your last option is you can change the project that you're working on. I'm just going to go again with my test. Now we can synchronize with the audio moth. When you get to this step, make sure your audio moth is switched to off, and then we'll press begin sync. I can hear the noise, so I'm going to press yes. Now I can switch my audio moth to custom. And now that I've done that, you can press yes again. And now make sure your audio moth device is flashing green with a solid red light. You can see mine has that. Now a second audio set is going to be played, so move your audio moth next to your computer again. Now that the second audio piece is played, you should see that your audio moth has a red flashing light. When you're deploying your audio moth in the field, you can add photos to help you remember where exactly you have placed it. Now I'm going to press deploy. Now that I've deployed my audio moth, you can see where on the map it is deployed. You can see other audio moths that I have deployed from the same project as well. And that's how you sync an audio moth with your companion app. 